what we try to do with this student diversity is to harness it and to make that the main sort of pedagogical resource that we have. And, and that is how we built our, our program as well. It introduces the students, who are all professional students, to ideas about safety and human factors, embedded in a very critical approach. I didn't know what to expect when I heard that we were with, from such a different uh, and diverse background, uh, different countries, different parts of the world, and how should this come about? We have students representing aviation, shipping. People who were engineers, some people who were pilots, some people who came from construction. Healthcare, even computer programming. And these people bring unique qualities in the interaction between the students, but also in the feedback to the assignments that you hand in. At the same time, we explored a lot of the similarities. We also found uh, a lot of differences. Uh, for example, uh, in construction, at least in oil and gas, that is much, much different working culture than it is in my industry, in, uh, in software. It has been a challenge um, to try and, and link what you do in your daily life into all the assignments we've had. Uh, we, we talk about certain topics and we have assignments that are then linked to our own industry. So we are constantly trying to apply the theory into practice. These students are very smart and have long experience and have great thoughts on what works and what doesn't work. And very often they come back to us and say that the most important parts of this program and the way we teach in this program is for them to read the tips and tricks and ideas of their fellow students. Critical thinking allows you to stand back and take an independent view of what you've probably been told about in the past, but now you can see it from a different viewpoint. We wanted to get it at a place where the topics are generalizable and aren't sort of held down by specific characteristics of, of any particular domain. People in certain domains have a tendency to believe that the safety is related to a very domain-specific problems. But what we see is that these systemic issues related to safety are the same throughout all domains. It's striking how much of their problems and questions and frustrations that actually are the same. And remember too that we are not trying to find a a one-size-fits-all solution to their problems. For us, it is more important that they learn to come up with better questions than more precise answers. There's a lot of reflection, a lot of introspection that causes you to, to think about your view. You do get challenged. In terms of safety, very few people are trained formally in that. So there is a lot of legacy ideas, which very often people don't know where they've come from. There was a trajectory a path by which those ideas grew and they've become quite commonly used in a number of industries. This program allows you to challenge your own views of that understanding. It forces you into reflection also upon areas that you don't know much about but suddenly you need to put the theory in a different context. You need to try and understand their context and you need to give some kind of forward-looking feedback, some kind of a prospective feedback. This master's program has given me first and foremost tools for self-learning, but more importantly it has also given me the opportunity to be better at asking the critical questions. I, I don't know if I ask the right questions, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking more questions and I'm more interested in, in a wider perspective and a more contextual perspective than perhaps before.